Hello, this is Apple Tech Help. I'm Donovan. Today we're going to learn how to customize the start page in Safari. So in Safari, when you open up a new tab or a new window, like I'm going to do now, you get what's called the start page. And for the purposes of today, I've cleared out my start page so that it, there's nothing there. In your Safari, you probably have some items already there, but uh, we're going to start from scratch today. So when I open up a new tab and it goes to the start page, on the bottom right, you'll see this little icon here. If you click on that, you can see you have a lot of options that you can uh, show or not show on the start page. So on the, we'll, we'll just work our way down from the top. On the start, uh, at the top, we have use start page on all devices. So that's handy if you have not only a Mac, but a iPhone, an iPad, that kind of thing and you want to make this start page reflect the same on all your devices, you can check that. The next is favorites. If I check that, you can see my favorites appear. And the favorites are the same thing as you can see up here along the top. These are my favorite uh, um, websites that I've uh, designated as ones that I like to be able to quickly access. And if you choose the next thing down, frequently visited, you can see that, well, I, of course, visit my own website quite often, um, but I also visit Twitch TV, so those are ones that I visit quite a bit, so there we can show them. Shared with you, this is uh, something that's handy because this sh shows you things that are shared with you through things like um, your messages. So I can see from my wife, she shared something, my brother has been sharing some things about pickleball with me, and now I don't need to necessarily open up my iPhone and mess go to messages to see these things. They're right here in my browser on Safari. The next thing is the privacy report. And if we look at that, it says in the last seven days, Safari has prevented 27 trackers from profiling you. And if you click on that, you can see which sites uh, they protected you from. And then you could even click into it and see even more information. I don't really look at the privacy report, but I do appreciate that Safari is uh, protect protecting me. If we look at the next thing, Siri suggestions. So this is um, Siri, Siri um, you know, reviews your mail and your news and, and it makes suggestions on things you might want to visit as a result. Well, I guess I triggered my, uh, my robot there in the background. Um, reading list. So this is handy. If you have a website that you've uh, added to your reading list, it'll show up here. So it's a quick way to, to get to it. And in case you're not aware of how to add something to your reading list, um, let's say I'm on this Apple Tech Help site and I want to add it to my reading list for later, I can go to this little share icon at the top and choose Add to Reading List. And now it's there. So it'll show up here, Apple Tech Help, right there. Next thing is iCloud, iCloud Tabs. And this is handy because it takes... Uh, tabs that are open on your other devices like your iPhone, your iPad, and you can change uh, from there and get right to them without having to open up that device, which is pretty nice. We have recently closed tabs. If you want to be able to, if you close a tab on accident, you can get back to it here just like that. Let me just close a couple of these things to make it easier to see. Um, right here, recently closed tabs. And then finally, we have on a background image. So this is nice too because right now you can see it's pretty plain. Um, you can click the plus button and go on your finder to find a image that you'd like to use or it also has some built-in images here. You can just kind of swipe to the right here. So let's just say maybe this one. There we go. Now I have a nice looking background. Um, the final thing I will mention before we end this video is that um, when you go to settings in Safari and you look at the general tab this is where you can control control what you see so new windows open with start page new tabs open with start page so we're talking about the start page here so if you're not seeing what I'm seeing make sure that this is on start page you might have changed it to home page or empty page or something like that so that's a requirement for what we're learning here today and that wraps up uh, how to customize your start page. This is Apple Tech Help. This is Donovan. Thanks for watching.